The EV market is growing, though not at the pace most experts were expecting. After billions invested in new technologies, many car makers are now facing a lack of demand due to consumers' resistance to enter this transition. Some models are hot, but many are not. So we dedicate this video to them, presenting seven electric cars that nobody wants to buy. Let the countdown begin. Number seven, Ford F-150 Lightning. The F-150 Lightning is Ford's most important prospect for the future, a model that should replace the gas-powered F-150 one day, America's best-selling pickup truck. But sales numbers are far from expected. According to goodcarbadcar.net, the Blue Oval Company sold 20,365 electric pickups in 2023. As this number doesn't tell much by itself, we will also use a more complex piece of statistics, the so-called market day supply, which refers to the number of days it would take to sell the vehicle inventory at the current sales rates. In the Lightning's case, that number is 182 days. According to Car Edge data for gas-powered cars, that number is 59 on average, so it's pretty clear that this electric pickup sits way too long at dealer lots. After all, even the Blue Oval Company indirectly admitted the lack of demand with the recent decisions to cut the production in 2024 by half. For this year, Ford expects to produce around 1,600 units per week, which is only half of Rogue Electric Vehicle Center's production capacity. The reasons for the lack of demand are numerous, starting from the fact that pickup drivers are generally one of the most conservative groups in the automotive world, which resists to electrification a lot. Then there is the max range, which goes between 230 and 320 miles, depending on the battery size. Even these relatively modest numbers drop significantly under heavy exploitation, as the recent motor trend test showed. In that testing, a fully charged F-150 Lightning with a 3,140-pound camper was to make only 115 miles. And if you add to that pretty modest max towing capacity, that goes between 7,700 and 10,000 pounds. It becomes obvious that the all-electric F-150 isn't much of a work companion. Add to this the several recalls and overall reliability score, and it becomes obvious why people don't buy F-150 Lightning at a much higher number. Number six, Cadillac Lyric. A 340 horsepower single motor version, a 500 horsepower dual motor version, a sleek exterior, high-tech interior, we expected a lot from Cadillac's first EV. However, the numbers suggest the opposite. As the goodcarbadcar.net data says that 9,155 lyrics were sold in the last year, it's not a bad number, but only until we considered that this one was expected to be an important part of GM's plan to go all electric by the end of the decade. From today's perspective, the plan to reach 1 million EVs per year by the end of 2026 seems pretty much impossible, considering that the demand for this luxurious crossover isn't particularly high. Once again, we can refer to car edge data from last October. At the time, the market day supply was so high that the dealers needed 151 days to sell their current inventory. Eventually, GM decided to extend the Christmas week production pause for another week in the Spring Hill plant in Tennessee, where the Lyric is produced, for another week. So the production didn't start until January 8th. Although it looks like a great EV, the Lyric isn't selling well for several reasons. During the last several months, customers constantly complain that deliveries take too long, which ended with many of them canceling their reservations. At the same time, dealer markups have been incredibly high with some of them asking $10,000 over the MSRP. Also, the Lyric instantly gained the reputation of an unreliable car, just like its cousin, the Chevy Blazer EV. Battery and software issues, along with other concerns, make this stylish crossover less desirable than GM hoped. Number five, Porsche Taycan. For a car that starts at around $92,500, would cost over 131,000 on average. Last year's sales record of 7,570 units sold actually looks very good, but only if you don't take Porsche's expectations into account. Namely, the German sports car maker has been marking impressive sales results in North America, 
so it expected the same trend in the EV segment. However, the Car Edge data shows that its dealers would be able to sell the current inventory in 239 days, which is the second worst result on our list. Clearly, the Taycan is not selling as expected. This EV has been around for a while, and after a pretty impressive start, sales started to decline last year, with the recovery achieved only in the third quarter. The growing competition, as well as the fact that the Taycan has been around for a while, might be the reasons for the decline. Also, despite the respectable charging speed, the Taycan's range is pretty modest by today's standards, considering that the base versions offer up to 206 miles, while the most capable variant can't make more than 246. Finally, we may presume that after the initially great reception, it may have turned out that the Taycan isn't as engaging to drive as its more conventional counterparts from the perspective of an average Porsche lover. Number 4. Mercedes-Benz EQE At the time of preparing this video, we were still waiting for Mercedes-Benz to disclose the sales number for the last year. But what we found out was that 1,195 examples of the EQE were sold in the last quarter of 2023. We can't call it a terrible number, but do you think that's the number the management was hoping for? Especially if you consider that this model was imagined as a replacement for the legendary E-Class, the benchmark of the mid-size segment? No, we don't think so. We can also refer to the car edge and its data from October when the market day supply was 144 for the EQE. The reasons for slow demand are various, but we presume that the average price paid of over $90,000 is one of them. Also, while base versions feature quite a decent range of over 300 miles, hotter variants are unfortunately equipped with the same 90.6 kilowatt hour battery pack, so they can make no more than 225 miles on a single charge. We can also hear complaints about mediocre rear headroom. While the general impression among traditional fans of this German brand is that the EQE simply doesn't have the needed personality to successfully replace the legendary E-Class. Number 3. Nissan Leaf History will remember Nissan Leaf as one of the pioneers of automotive electrification. The original model was introduced back in 2010, and it was the first mass production EV. The commercial success was pretty respectable too, but the second generation didn't meet expectations. Compared to new competitors, the second generation Leaf seems inferior in pretty much every aspect, starting from the limited range and disappointing DC charging rate of just 50 kilowatt hour, along with modern performance, barely average interior, and the price tag that doesn't seem so attractive anymore, it's clear that the Leaf will ride into the sunset pretty soon. The numbers are inexorable, as goodcarbadcar.net's data shows a massive 40% drop in the last year. The Japanese manufacturer sold 7,149 units in 2023, compared to more than 12,000 units sold in 2022, which is a pretty obvious indication that Leaf's era is coming to an end. And the same thing can be concluded from the market day supply parameters provided by CarEdge, which suggests that the current inventory would need 161 days to be sold. Number 2. Genesis GV60 The Korean luxury brand shocked the whole automotive industry with the quality of its models a few years ago and instantly became recognizable as one of the best alternatives to traditional premium brands. However, it looks like it probably won't be able to repeat the same success in the EV universe, considering that Genesis dealers are really struggling to sell this all-electric crossover that starts at around $53,000 but costs nearly $66,000 on average. The company would need 190 days to sell the current inventory, which is one of the worst scores among EV makers, despite the fact that the sales actually went up 114% compared to 2022. It's obvious that the management expected to sell way more than 3,400 units in the last year. On paper, the GV60 has a lot to offer, starting from the attractive design, engaging driving experience and impressive DC charging rate of 350 kilowatt. However, the GV60's range is below average at the same time, while the fact that some mainstream siblings from Kia and Hyundai feature longer ranges doesn't help either. Also worth mentioning is the fact that, as of October last year, this electric crossover was available for sale only in 33 US states. Number 1. Jaguar I-Pace 
With this compact crossover, Jaguar was one of the first premium brands to enter the EV market. At first, things seemed quite promising, but the last few years clearly show the British car maker has failed to update its EV and keep it competitive because things are changing rapidly in the EV market these days. While the max output of nearly 400 horsepower and engaging handling guarantees a lot of fun, the iPace lags behind younger competitors in many ways, particularly when it comes to battery performance and technology. The max range goes up to 246 miles, but drops to 217 miles with bigger wheels. Probably even more problematic is the charging speed, as this Jag takes 40 minutes to recharge 80% of the battery with the DC fast charger. With all these things in mind, it doesn't surprise that the British car maker has sold only 509 iPace models in the last year. Although a slight improvement compared to 2022, the iPace is still by far the least wanted EV on the market, with market performance nowhere near the company's expectation. Jaguar made so much of these EVs that the current market day supply is absurdly high and goes up to 647 days. According to Car Edge data, with such sales dynamics, even if the production stops today, dealers would need one year, nine months, and 12 days to sell all iPaces currently in stock. And that's it. If you want to see more EV content, check out this video. See you there.